Hello, David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back with our good friends from NPL. And we are talking about, right now, the Autumn Winter 2018 collection. Why are we why are we talking about this? Well, first of all, I'm wearing one of the pieces from the collection. You could see this incredible stripe down the side. It's a half zip cashmere sweater. It's unbelievably comfortable. You can see the fit right here. It is fitted. Um, we always show you the back. So here's the back. It's fitted, if I can come up a little bit closer, in a very athletic way. Why? Well, let's talk about this. N. Peel always sees inspiration in their surroundings, in store, some of the historical aspects. Take a look at what they did for Bond, for example. Very classic look, but somewhat modernized. Well, this season, it's no different. They took a look at the explorers, the Alpine explorers from the 1920s to seek inspiration. Why? Well, the explorers during the this time in the Alpine regions they were explorers that really had to battle the elements, but they wanted to do it stylishly. Why not? If you're going to do battle of any kind, why not do it stylishly? If anything, Bonds taught us that, right? So the explorers wore things like this. They had a certain sportiness to it. What N. Peel has done is they've modernized some of the fit. They've taken away some of the bagginess, and they've made it so it connects with us. Now, what's wonderful about this is it looks great. All right, you've got some of the details here at the bottom that show kind of the white. We'll get some images later of this in close-up, but the reality is, is this can be worn under something. It could be worn just going out in 45, 50 degrees Fahrenheit weather. It could be worn around the office. It can be worn in the evening at play. This is all about versatility, and that's Bond. And that's the connection we wanted to create here is that, you know, if you think about the explorers of the 1920s, that's Bond's family. And they were alpine mountain climbers. Now, they, they, they met a pretty tragic end, as we all know how the story goes. Hopefully you won't in these, but it really kind of starts to connect all of the dots. Point in motion is this. This is a gilet. Boy, I hope I pronounce that right, because chances are I haven't. But it's a wonderful, um, as us Yanks call, vest. Um, if I can come up a little bit close, you can see that there's not only cashmere here on the outside, there's cashmere lined as well. In between these quilted areas is a layer of cotton. And what that does is it creates very natural thermal compounds. Why is that good? Well, if you think about it, when you wear something like this, you can wear this under a sports jacket, you can wear it under a suit, you can wear it in the country, you could wear it in the city. But what I love about these vests, and I've, I've worn these for many, many seasons, it's not just for Han Solo anymore, it takes the cold off. It takes some of the, the nip, the breeze, but it's extremely, as you can see, fitted. It's very connected here. I'm gonna come in close so you can see this. Uh, the zippers, everything really lines together. You've got this high collar that if we literally kind of connect all the dots and pieces can come up very, very high and protect the throat. So, one of the things that we love that NPL has done is they take their Bond heritage, they've take this 1920s Explorers inspiration, they've connected everything together to create this line. You should take a look at it, but you know what we do here. I mean, this is not about, I mean, you could see this is in front of my collection. We test these things out in the wild. So I'm going to take this gilet and I am going to throw probably a different uh, top on underneath it. And we're gonna see how this really works in the wild because these aren't, these aren't made, these aren't created just to look stylish and just to look pretty. No, they're actually made to have lots of little details like the zipper with the outlining of the brown and the interior, but they're also made to be worn to survive out in the autumn and winter weather. So let's go take a look. We've picked, I think, maybe not Alpine, but a very suitable environment to show you exactly what we're talking about. So as promised, we are outside. It's just about 50 degrees, probably no more. There's that fall chill in the air. We're standing in front of a cornfield. You don't get any more seasonal than this. 
And obviously, by the way, I've got my NPL cashmere gloves on, so I'm well suited. Just have a thin cotton shirt on and obviously the vest. It feels great. Uh, keeping my body warm, but you know, with the vest, some people need the sleeves. I don't if I've got this on and it's windy. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but here's something really cool about this vest. You ready for this? Let's say I don't want the light gray. I can just turn it around and yep, that's right folks. It's reversible. How cool is that? Uh, the zipper, the pockets, everything is reversible. So you can see how the pockets are right here on the outside. And suddenly I've got this charcoal gray vest with uh, these really cool piping details. Really smart, really um, great utility, versatility. I love the reversibility. Is that a thing? I'm just gonna keep going on my walk, but yes, it, out in the open, out in the field, it works perfectly. Okay, now for something entirely different, it's uh, time to get to work. So we had our little country moment, but you know, it's time to get to work. Well, here we are um, at work and just kind of strolling around. I've got this top on. It is incredibly comfortable as I kind of stroll around and, and check things out. Now that I've made everybody incredibly dizzy, we're in front of our blackboard at work. Here's our entrance filled with lots of fun little props and movie memorabilia, but why don't we take a walk around and we'll see how this thing performs, shall we? So like so many agencies, we are in a retrofitted warehouse. And one of the things is that there's really, it's really hard to control the temperature. So it's very cold here, it's very warm there. What's great is about cashmere, it's natural, obviously. Um, it breathes, so if I walk into a really cold room, the, the wool, the cashmere keeps me obviously warm. If I walk into a really hot, hot room, it keeps me cool. It breathes really nicely. So I'm finding that it's really easy to maintain myself, even in an office environment, not just outside. Um, oh, okay. Good morning, Joan. Good morning, David. How are you? I'm well, and you? So I have to ask you, what do you think of my sweater? Do, do you like it? From behind. <laughs> oh no, no, I do on. like your sweater. Yes, very do nice you, sweater. Did you uh, did you leather. do you recognize it at all? No. It's actually from a company called NPL. They did all the Bond, James Bond sweaters okay. for Skyfall Inspector. Oh. Did you see Skyfall Inspector? No. <laughs> you didn't see either one of those. I don't think so. I'm who, sorry. Who hurt you? Who hurt, who hurt you? <laughs> I'm but, not sure I've seen any full James Bond movies. Maybe just a couple. Oh my gosh. Oh, because you were in a coma for like decades? Exactly. Oh no. That could be the only reason. It's so sad. I'll do a marathon. You know what? I'll, I'll drop off some movies to you, some recommended ones. Okay. Would you watch them? I would. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello, stranger. Hi. <laughs> um, quick question for you. Yes. Um, what do you think of this sweater? It, the, the look. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. Do you recognize who it's by? I sure do. Who? N Peel. Oh. My favorite. Your favorite? Are you an owner of N Peel sweater? I am. Oh. One sweater. The, the Spectre one? I, yes. So it's kind of like you're a ringer. Yeah, but I mean, I, I'll, I'll take more. <laughs> do, you, um, do, you, do, do you recognize where this is inspired from at all? What was the inspiration for it? Um, probably like a many years ago. No, oh, oh, wow, that's but pretty damn good. Like 19... like an alpine look, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, it's almost like you were rehearsed. 1920, <laughs> look at you, I'm bugging you during words. This is not good. <laughs> 1920s alpine explorers, that's right. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue on. Thank you for yeah. the, uh, didn't mean to disturb you. I'm so disturbed. Well, that is true. All right, well, let me open my computer and uh, see what's happening in the world. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, why is the Duke of Sussex always trying to replicate what I'm wearing? That was a lot of fun and obviously fits the bill. So um, NPL stores uh, in the UK as well as obviously New York City. Been there myself, fantastic place. Been to the ones in the UK, really a lot of fun. If you see some of our friends over there like Adam, Make sure you say hi from the Bond experience. 
But one of the things is start to explore this. There's the website. And we're going to have more pieces throughout the season to really highlight all of these connections. 1920s inspiration, Alpine explorers, James Bond, it's all coming together. The question that you should be asking, because I'm asking it, is where does NPL go from here? Will they have a connection to Bond 25? Will they be back? Will they be outfitting Daniel Craig again? Will they be outfitting other characters from Bond 25? Obviously, only time will tell. We're going to keep watching and keeping our ear out. I hope you will as well. But for now, this has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. I'm going to go enjoy this softness, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 